Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Better Know a Highway, here on Virtual Road Trip, where we take a closer look at the highways and interstates that cross this vast country of ours. In this episode, we'll be looking at Interstate 87, a highway within New York State that I know pretty well, as it's my hometown highway, and it's the route that I take to and from work every day. So I know it quite well, and uh, can hopefully give a little bit more insight in this episode to this specific interstate. So I hope you enjoy. And as always, before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, which I always appreciate. Make sure to check out the VRT Discord. Link is in the description. Hopefully get some more people in there as well. We got a few new people, but the more the merrier. And uh, most importantly, is that you sit back and enjoy. So let's get started. I-87 is a north-south intrastate highway located totally within the state of New York, although it does at one point come very close to New Jersey. It runs for a total of 333 and a half miles and is the main travel corridor between New York City and the capital city of Albany, as well as Montreal further north with connections to the Canadian highway system. Starting in the south, I-87 begins in the New York City borough of the Bronx at a junction with I-278 just north of the RFK Triborough Bridge. Heading west and then north through the Bronx, this section is known as the Major Deacon Expressway, an untold highway traveling through dense urban neighborhoods with numerous exits, some of which provide access to bridges over the Harlem River and into Manhattan. I-87 passes several landmarks during its journey within the borough, including Yankee Stadium. Continuing north, 87 traverses through the northernmost neighborhoods of the Bronx before leaving New York City entirely and entering into Westchester County, New York and the city of Yonkers. It is here that I-87 becomes concurrent with the New York State Thruway. The exit numbers reset starting with 1 and increase as it heads further north. Traveling through Yonkers and the rest of the heavily urbanized southern part of the county, 87 soon begins to enter more suburban terrain further north. It is here at Terrytown, New York, where 87 has its most significant water crossing, as it traverses the Hudson River at its second widest point. The Tappan Zee Bridge has two spans that run for just over three miles at a maximum height of 400 feet. It has a slight S shape as it crosses the Hudson River and turns back to the north at its western end. This new version of the bridge was completed in 2017 and replaced the older original bridge of the same name that was built in the 1950s. A significant project and one of the largest in recent New York State history, it took several years to complete, and it was deemed an essential project as the old bridge was suffering from severe deterioration and was not originally designed to be used for such a long time. Now on the western side of the Hudson River, at the city of Nyack, I-87 travels further west through Rockland County, New York, passing through several mid-sized cities within the area. After around 20 miles, 87 makes its major turn to the north, near the village of Suffern, New York, and less than one half of a mile from the state border with New Jersey. Immediately after the turn north, I-87 enters much more rural terrain, mainly within Harriman State Park, which it runs through for about 13 miles. Little development is allowed here, and the park provides a clear line between the downstate region and upstate New York, although definitions on that vary depending on where you live. After leaving the park, I-87 enters the Hudson Valley region of New York State, which is, by the way, the native home of yours truly here. A beautiful and scenic area, I must say, although I might be a little biased. Paralleling the Hudson, as it heads north, 87 passes and has exits for several cities and villages such as Newburgh, New Paltz, and Kingston. Also, at exit 17 near Newburgh, 87 has a major junction with the east-west running I-84 at a complex interchange. Continuing on, the highway now reaches the escarpment of the Catskill Mountains near Saugerties, New York, passing just to the east of the range with views of many of the high peaks in the region. Traveling through more rural and sparsely populated areas, 
87 intersects with the Berkshire connector of the New York State Thruway system, which heads east and eventually connects to I-90 heading towards Massachusetts. I-87 then finally reaches the Capital District and the City of Albany. The highway does not enter the city proper, instead bypassing it to the west. It's here, however, that I-87 has its next significant junction, with a major east-west running I-90. It is also at this intersection that 87 leaves the New York State Thruway system. At exit 24, the Thruway designation officially transfers to I-90, which then heads west, while 87 becomes a freeway known as the Adirondack Northway. The exit numbers once again reset, and the highway resumes its northern course. Initially running through the western and northern suburbs of Albany, this new freeway section of I-87 provides access to the city's airport and then heads north to the next population center at historic Saratoga Springs. This village is a major tourist area, especially in August during the horse racing season, and 87 swells with volume during this time. Further north, 87 reaches the Glens Falls area and makes its second crossing of the Hudson River, this time at a much narrower part, and with the river running west to east. Then, shortly after, the highway enters the Lake George region, another major tourist destination which can cause heavy traffic in the summer. Lake George Village is just off 87 and can be easily accessed. It is also here that the highway officially enters the Adirondack Park and heads deeper into the mountain range. Now within the heart of the Adirondacks, and within the vicinity of some of the highest peaks in all of New York, the terrain becomes extremely rural, with only a few small towns along the way and widely spaced exits. Here, 87 is a crucial link for many outdoor enthusiasts and fishermen, as well as the resort towns of Lake Placid and Saranac Lake to the west. Eventually, I-87 reaches the Lake Champlain region, and as it comes down from the mountains, it enters the Champlain Valley, traveling close to the lake itself. This begins the northernmost stretch of 87 as the terrain flattens out and it reaches the last city along its route, Plattsburgh, New York. Once north of here, 87 travels for a final 20 miles or so through rural farm country until it reaches its northern terminus at the Canadian border at the heavily traveled Champlain Blackpool Crossing. The roadway continues north as Quebec Auto Route 15, which itself eventually reaches the city of Montreal. This thus completes I-87's 333 mile run. One last note, there is actually another I-87 in the US, this one located in North Carolina. However, due to the fact that it's still mostly under construction, I didn't feature it in this video. Currently only about 12 miles of the highway exists. But once completed, it will stretch from the Raleigh area east to the populated southeastern part of Virginia. There is, however, no current timetable for completion. Well, that's going to do it for another episode of Better Know a Highway. Hope you enjoyed, as always, and I hope you learned a little something. You know, uh, this highway, Interstate 87, is uh, a bit personal for me. It's my uh, hometown highway, as I mentioned at the beginning. And it's the one I know the best, so perhaps I went a little bit more in depth than I normally would, at least for a non-major interstate, and I uh, hope it worked out for everybody. Uh, before I go, though, I just want to remind you to please like and subscribe. I always appreciate that. And make sure to check out the uh, VRT Discord. The link is in the description below. Get some more people in there, get some interesting discussion going. That would be great. And uh, yeah, as always, until next time, Enjoy the ride, and up next, another double feature, Interstate 86. I'll see you then.